Hi friends, I'm Gencer Dalay. I've been working in animation sector in Turkey for six years. I've graduated from the animation department of Anatolian University in Eskişehir. Now, I'm working in Beyond Bird Animation Studios as a 2D animator for a project produced by Tumbum Harmony. Today, I will make a short animation for you. Now, I'm importing the character which I will animate. I'm unlocking the stage library's lock after right-clicking the stage library on library. After closing my characters group, I'm dragging it into the stage that I have prepared. I'm giving a new name by right-click to rename. I'm generating a thumbnail to see it on preview. Now, I can see my character. If I had opened an animation, here I could see it by playing it on the preview. Now, I'm opening my stage. After right-clicking on the stage library, then right-clicking to modify option, I'm dragging my character into the stage. After deactivating the Animate button, I can change my character size. I have changed the size without adding any frame. If there had been an animation, I could change my character size by doing the same thing. Now, I'm adding keys after clicking Animate button. I'm stating the duration of my animation in the playback section. And after clicking the last frame on master pack, I'm hitting the F5 button. Now, I can pause my character. In this stage, I set my character to go out of the door and look around. Since my character will stay behind the door, I will use it as a reference for an arch to next poses. I'm trying to create a dynamic pose here. As you can see that, legs are not on the ground. But this will help me to give the feeling. The legs being in the air are not important. I will use the pose which gives the best feeling. I'm choosing an hand pose, which I have drawn before from the substitution section. If I want to create a more suitable hand pose, I will click on the Create Empty Drawing option box, then open a new drawing sub, after that I will draw it on camera. If I draw it on the drawing section, character will remain on its default pose. So, I draw it in the camera stage. Suitable for character's new pose. I'm coloring it, then selecting its color with selection tool, and then cutting it. After that, I'm passing it to the color art. Since this is a short tutorial, I'm using the hands that I've made before, and carrying on animating it. 
I'm using the shortcut B to navigate up the hierarchy. In this pose, my character will turn his head and look around. After choosing all the keys by keep clicking shift button, I'm moving them to the right. Now, I'm fixing his head's arch. On background, there are two doors prepared before. Now, I will add keyframes to them and make an opening animation. I'm putting pivot point to the right place. As you can see, by keep pressing the shift button, I delete frames from the last pose after the key of the closed door. We will place the open door one frame after the closed door. Now, I'm bringing the doors and walls parts to the front by clicking Alt and down together. Now it's in front of my character. I'm making my characters easiest from set ease for multiple parameter selection.
I'm selecting the places that I will add keyframes by clicking the shift and then clicking the create keyframe on. Every number of frame selection is two now. And here in the selection part, you can see first frame and last frames. I'm hitting OK, and I'm doing the same for other part. And lastly, by choosing them all with shift, I'm setting the timing of those opening animation. Thanks for watching. Last but not least, we celebrate the latest version of Tomb Boom here in Istanbul, Turkey.